Hey everybody, Jason from Avidia here on a beautiful Tuesday. I am working remotely from home today. I'll wait a few seconds to let people hop on. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I am obviously outside. There's a little bit of wind. Um, please comment if the wind is a little too much and I might have to move. But it's always windy out here. I live uh, out in the country and there is a wind farm that starts literally across the street. So I'm sure some research went into finding the windiest place in central Illinois and we happen to live there. Okay, Kim says, it's a little windy, but we can hear you. So give me a thumbs up, Kim, if you just want me to continue from this spot. All right, here we go. So happy Tuesday. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about uh, Facebook ads, you know, the different types of Facebook ads and when to use them. Um, you know, Facebook advertising is, uh, Ron says, as long as it doesn't blow your hair in your eyes. Hardy har har. You're hilarious. Uh, but I can take it. Anyway, fresh haircut this morning. Donated locks of love. Um, they didn't give me very much. Uh, anyway, so Facebook ads really can be an in-depth conversation and you know that's a full-time job literally um, it can be very complicated but it can be uh, you know it can be simple as well so you know I would recommend not to let it overwhelm you but just to get started and try it you know you can control your budget on a daily uh, basis you know start with five bucks and and see what happens so the the easiest way that you can get started with Facebook advertising is promoted post and you know Facebook obviously pushes you to do that uh, you know when you make a post you, you want to boost this so a boosted post promoted post same thing um, you've got some basic targeting options um, you know it, it's super easy to do you can set your budget you can set a daily uh, budget you can uh, set a time when you want it to uh, you know say you want to cap it at a hundred dollars and you want it to run until you know next week on a certain day well you can set that date and time and then Facebook will uh, just spend your budget on a daily basis to equal out however many days are left so that's the easiest way to get started um, you can still uh, target by age you know demographic um, interests things like that but that's the easiest way um, I'm going to just list the, the six options real quick, and then I'm going to cover a little bit about, about each. So when you go to create an ad in Facebook, uh, there are six types or, or six goals that it will ask you as to which you want to do. First is boost a post. Uh, next is increase your reach. So that is basically just getting out in front of more eyeballs, you know, branding. Um, you know, if you want to get more more exposure, get more in, get in front of more people, get uh, more people aware of you, that's the way to do it. Uh, you can promote an event. You know, say you've got an event coming up, and hopefully you created a Facebook event, and you want to get people to, to notice it, and hopefully you know mark whether they're going to attend or whatever. You can promote your event. Um, next is drive traffic to your website. So maybe you've got a specific website page that you wanted to get traffic to um, you know maybe it's a, a really cool article that you wrote on a blog post and you just want to you know get awareness or maybe you've got an opt-in page on your website where you wanted to collect a name and email address um, or if you've got an e-commerce store and you sell products on your website then you can drive them to that page um, tons of options there and the next one is to promote your page and that's basically a, a like campaign or to get likes for your new page Sorry, we've got a, a semi in the back full of corn or soybeans. I don't know which. Well, it looks like corn. And uh, they started harvesting here, and we are in the middle of corn and soybeans, central Illinois. Yeah, lots of work to do right now. Anyway, uh, promote your page. Um, that's just getting likes. Um, you can get likes to your page. There are cheaper ways to get likes, and you know we can talk about that maybe at a, another time, but this isn't necessarily the cheapest way to get likes. Uh, get video views is the last option. You know, if you've got a video uh, that you 
that you did and uploaded, you can get more views to that video. And it could be just, you know, standard, I don't know, video about anything. Uh, if you've got a, an e-commerce store, you know, do a, a product video and then get more views to it. And you could have a, a link to the product page on your website, you know, in the text for that post where you posted the video. Um, you know, options there are, you know, people, you know, run an ad to get video views and you can actually create a retargeting uh, audience out of people who viewed the uh, video a certain percentage. So say you uh, wanted to target people who viewed your, your video 75% or more, well, you can do that and then send another uh, ad just to those people. So super targeted options there. So those are the six types of Facebook ads. Um, tons of options to do uh, with each one. But uh, before I go any, any more and cover some of these, are there any questions from anybody? I'm sitting in my front yard again, Wendy. I'm sitting backwards. What you see behind me is, is our front yard. Actually, there's the corner of the house. I was going to bring Nacho, one of my dogs out here. We've got two Labrador Retrievers. Nacho's the, the normal one. Pretty laid back. We've got another one, uh, Lucy. She's a little crazy. If anybody's seen The Lion King and remembers the, the hyenas, well, there was one with kind of crazy guys and just wasn't right. A little crazy. Well, that's Lucy. I didn't want to bring them out here. Um, anyway, any questions? All right, so I'll touch base on, on a little bit of these, you know, when you should do what. So say you've got a, a recent business or you don't have many likes on your Facebook page and you just want to, you know, get more people to like your page or increase, increase awareness. So the first thing I would do is, you know, you know, I covered fairly recently on what to do on your Facebook page. You know, complete all sections, you know, a profile picture, cover photo, your about area, you know, your phone number if you've got one, address if you've got one, depending on the type of business, um, you know, call to action button, things like that. Uh, populate your page with some uh, posts, you know, stuff that would, that would be interesting for your target market or your readers, and, um, you know, get some content there. Next step would be to get likes. You know, you can invite your friends, invite your family. Um, then, uh, what I would probably do is to uh, do this option for promote your page set a super small budget and that's your like campaign again this isn't the cheapest but it's the quickest to get going start a like campaign uh, if you're a brick and mortar business target your geographical area you know make sure that you you look at the settings and you know set your geographic area to your target market you don't want people in San Diego seeing your ad if you're here in Bloomington Illinois and they're going to physically walk through your door. You're going to be wasting money. Yeah, you might get some likes, but they aren't really going to be targeted likes. Um, it'll inflate your numbers, but eh, I'd rather have likes for people who could actually come and spend some money with me. So, geographical area, you can target a uh, you know by city. You can target by uh, mileage radius, and actually target by mileage radius from your specific address. Uh, if you want to get really targeted and, and hope for some walk-in traffic. If you aren't necessarily local, then you know you can still target geographically United States. Again, depends on your market. Um, you can target by age. If you uh, you know sell certain things, or if your product or service appeals to a certain age range, make sure that you uh, control your ad to be seen by your target market. You know, if if you've got you know, say you're a, a dentist and you know, you don't necessarily want to show your ad to everybody, you know, maybe you show that ad to uh, ages, you know, 28 to, I don't know, 65 or whatever. Um, depending on, you know, if you're a, a female uh, clothing e-commerce type store, then you want to target to female, you know, don't just launch your ad out to male. While you might get some likes and engagement, um, you know, and then also, Tighten that up by the age range. If your clothes appeal to, you know, 18 to 26, then specify that. So anyway, that's step one. Um, again, I'm ran rambling a little bit. It's easy for me to get carried away. But that's the best way to get some likes out, out of the gate. And then create some good posts that will get engagement. You know, ask questions. Um, you know, 
posts that encourage open-ended, uh, you know, ask open-ended questions. Um, and then you can promote that post. Do the same thing. Your geographical area, demographics, age range, male, female. You can uh, target by interests. Uh, you know, one of my clients is an OBGYN. Well, you can target people who have, uh, you know, are, have a baby or an unborn. Um, if you're a preschool, you can target people with children between certain age ranges. Tons of options. So just think about what might appeal, you know, when you're looking at those interests. Uh, you know, if you're not sure, reach out and ask me. I'll give you a little feedback. Um, so to, you know, promote your post, that's a good way to get likes because you might get them free organically. But if you can get a post that, and, and promote it in a way that people like it or comment or share, well, you can click on the people that liked a specific post, and then a box will open up. And then if someone likes the post but don't like your page, there will be a little square out to the right of their name, and it will say invite. If they already like your page, it will say liked. But you can click invite, and it will invite them to like your page. And you can get tons of free likes that way. Even if you aren't boosting a post or running an ad, if you create a post on your page that gets engagement and people start liking it, Click on the likes, box opens up, invite, 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 and do that for every post uh, from here on, here on out. So that's probably enough content for today. Again, I could talk all day about this stuff. Any specific questions on any of this? Hey, James, I see you're watching there, buddy. Thanks for hopping on. Um, anybody, comments, feedback, any volunteers to rake leaves here pretty soon, this giant tree is going to drop a lot of leaves. Um, I'm not even touching it for a long time. If anybody wants to come out here and help clear my driveway of snow here in a couple months, you know, that'd be awesome. All right, where is everybody? I see people are on there, no comments, no more bad hair jokes. Um, I was gonna go, go sit by the corn, but it's pretty sunny over there. All right, so, uh, CCAB, that's uh, my awesome brother-in-law in sunny, hot Arizona, James, um, has a really cool airsoft page. If anybody is into airsoft and military simulation type stuff, uh, you can go check out his page, CCAB. Pretty cool. A little free plug for you there, buddy. Maybe we get a few likes. Um, you have to drive to Arizona to, to join them, though. But anyway, I get pretty jealous. Um, anybody else? And James, if you want some tips... Uh, message me, call me, email me, whatever, buddy. Anybody else? Come on, help me out here. I don't even have a dog to talk to. All right, that's it. I'm going to sign out. And uh, you guys have a great day. Talk to you next week. Adios.